the pyramid of the robot. Okay, at this point everyone should know about the Hep TV show SpongeBob SquarePants. If not here is the rundown, it is a show made by Steven Hillenburg all the way back in 1999. Crazily enough it became the most popular kids show to ever be aired on the channel, beating Rugrats and any other show before it, and even crazier it is still running to this day. However there is one episode that is really bad, and that episode is, SpongeBob you're fired. My god is that episode bad. It was so bad that everyone started to not watch Spongebob anymore. I despised this episode due to how bad it was and how Mr. Krabs was so mean. But now what if I told you a lost internship recreation of the episode was created, and oh boy it is so creepy. It was a nice day, and I was in my room playing Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. Mom then came into my room and said she was going to the DVD store, she asked me if I wanted to come, and I said yes. While we were inside, I went to the kids' DVD section, and I saw a lot of DVDs. Some of the DVDs were, Peppa Pig, Sonic X, Power Rangers, Pokemon, Teletubbies, Disney and Pixar movies, Caillou, Sesame Street, and the Little Einsteins just to name a few. However while I was walking by and scurrying through the DVDs, I found something that I really liked. It was a never-before-seen SpongeBob SquarePants DVD that I have never seen before. The DVD was titled, SpongeBob SquarePants, Lost Internship Recreation of SpongeBob You're Fired. The cover showed Mr. Krabs' office as Mr. Krabs and Squidward were screaming while SpongeBob's shadow was seen in the background. The DVD's release date was November 3rd, 2013. Humph, this certainly looks interesting. I told myself. I went to my mom and I showed her the DVD, and she let me buy it. We then went to the cash register to pay. I scanned the DVD and it came up as $5. We paid a total of $13.75, and then we got into the car and drove home. As we got home my mom told me that she was going out with our father and she would be back at 8pm. I said bye and then they left. At that moment I decided to watch the new DVD, so I took it, grabbed the disc, turned on the DVD player, and inserted the disc. I sat back ready to watch this never before seen version of a Spongebob episode. It played the FBI warning screen, the previews, the Nickelodeon logo, and finally the Paramount DVD logo, after pressing main menu it took me to the menu. The menu was really nice. It consisted of the cast of characters in a big bubble in a background of Kong Street. The music that was playing in the background was What Shall We Do With The Drunken Sailor. I pressed the only recreation which was Spongebob You're Fired, unreleased version. However before the episode began there was a warning. Warning, this deleted version of Spongebob you're fired you are about to see contains very dark, gruesome, and violent scenes that may not be approved for children, also this episode contains mild bad words, and sudden sounds. Viewer discretion, is advised. Ha ho. I told myself. This doesn't look good. The episode started off normally, the intro played, the title card came up, the credits played, then the bubble transition played, and it got to the episode. The episode was entirely normal for the most part, however when it got to Sandy's tree dome, it totally took a turn for the worst. The scene was normal up until the part when Sandy says, Spongebob, you're a mess. You're falling apart. Come on, Spongebob, you need to pull yourself together. Get some structure in your life. What you need is a new job. After Sandy said that, the episode went downhill fast. SpongeBob's expression went from depressed to extremely angry, his eyes turned crimson red, and his gray beard came off. At that moment SpongeBob snapped with a loud Godzilla roar as he picked up the table with his two hands and with all his might threw it at the tree dome causing it to break. Glass shatters all over the place as Sandy gasps. SpongeBob, what the heck was that for? Sandy shouted at SpongeBob. I was shocked, they never said heck in the show before. Then Spongebob punched Sandy in the face causing her tooth to come out, and for her to get a black eye. Spongebob, what's gotten into you? Before Sandy could finish talking, Spongebob snapped at her in a demonic voice. Don't tell me what to do, squirrel! Patrick was shocked and said, Spongebob, you need to calm down. Before Patrick could finish talking, Spongebob punched him in the belly hardly causing him to fall over. Spongebob then broke the door down and walked out. 
The bubble transition played again and it showed SpongeBob running angrily to the Krusty Krab. He then breaks the door down and walks to Mr. Krabs' office while Squidward stares at him with a confused look. SpongeBob slams the door open, enters Mr. Krabs' office and then walks to Mr. Krabs. Mr. Krabs was confused and said, SpongeBob, why are you back? SpongeBob replied in a happy voice. Oh, you know, I just wanted to come and say hi. Mr. Krabs also replied with, Oh, well, thanks for visiting. Before Mr. Krabs could finish talking, SpongeBob grabs him by the neck with a chainsaw in his other hand. Today, I'm having crabs for lunch. SpongeBob yells at Mr. Krabs. Then SpongeBob proceeds to saw Mr. Krabs to death as it shows a shot of the door to the office. The only things heard was SpongeBob laughing, the chainsaw, and Mr. Krabs' blood curdling screams as blood splatters on the door. What the hell? I told myself in fear. SpongeBob then breaks down the door of Mr. Krabs' office as blood was all over him. He then walks to the kitchen. Squidward was shown making Krabby Patties on the grill. SpongeBob then walks in and asks Squidward. Hey Squidward, do you want a surprise? Squidward replied with, Fine, Bob, make it wet. SpongeBob says, Okay, Squidward, close your eyes and wait for your surprise. Squidward does what SpongeBob says and closes his eyes. SpongeBob then pulls out a box of matches and a lighter. He grabs one of the matches and lights it on fire. He then says, Okay, one, two, three, surprise! SpongeBob yells as he stabs the match in Squidward's eye. Squidward screams as if his voice actor Roger Bumpus was in major pain. However his scream was interrupted by SpongeBob slamming his face down on the grill as Squidward begins to burn and scream even more. After Squidward burned to death he collapsed. His corpse was so unsettling. His right eye was popped out, his clothes were tattered, and his entire skin was burnt to a crimson black. SpongeBob laughed maniacally as he walks out of the Krusty Krab. The bubble transition played but the bubbles were red and the sound was distorted. SpongeBob walks back to the tree dome giggling like crazy. He looked seriously messed up. His body was covered in blood, there were rips on his clothes, and his face was more demonic. I started to get very anxious and scared but I kept watching. SpongeBob entered the tree dome. Sandy and Patrick saw him and they both said, SpongeBob! Where have you been? SpongeBob replied with, Oh you know, killing those two bitches! SpongeBob yelled. This was shocking, SpongeBob never said the B word before. He then did something that scared me for life. He pulled out the bodies of Mr. Krabs and Squidward. They were so disgusting that I can't even describe them. I then vomited on the floor. Sandy and Patrick both screamed as if their actors had lost their crap. Sandy runs into the tree and locks the door as Patrick climbs to the top. SpongeBob begins to bang on the door as Sandy runs to her room. She then grabs her phone and dials 911. She then talks with the police about how SpongeBob became a serial killer and told them to come. The police replied with, We are on our way. As the call ended. Right when it ended SpongeBob broke down and yelled. Here's SpongeBob! Sandy tried to defend but she was weak. Right before SpongeBob was about to kill Sandy, he was knocked out by a taser. Heroic music began playing as it showed the cops. They then took SpongeBob to the police car and threw him in. SpongeBob didn't talk as the police drove off. Sandy and Patrick both waved goodbye to SpongeBob. Sandy told Patrick to never tell anyone about this in which the latter replies. Okay, I promise. Then they walk off into the sunset as the episode ends with the credits. After the credits played, the United Plankton Pictures and Nickelodeon logos played, and then it took me back to the menu. I was shocked at what I saw and at that moment my mom and dad came home. I showed them the footage and they were shocked. I managed to catch a few screenshots before my mom burned the DVD. After that I couldn't sleep for a week. I kept having nightmares of SpongeBob killing me the same ways as he did to Mr. Krabs and Squidward which includes sawing me to death, and stabbing my eye with a match and burning me with a grill. I already know that Adam Kennington made this and he is still making twisted stuff to this day. So the lesson is never buy internship recreations DVDs or else your childhood will be ruined. This is Giovanni, signing off. Goodbye.